Hello, I'm Mixed Miles and Mile Man, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, something a little bit different for you. Picked myself up a little tiny Fleur Hand, I think they're called, uh, from Germany. This is a Fleur Hand Baby Special 276 um, Storm Lantern, of which um, the design goes back to like the 1800s. Um, I think Dietz used to make these over in America. They're now saying they're made in Germany, but I've got a sneaky suspicion half of these things are now coming from China. You can pick these up really, really cheap off of Amazon, all those sort of selling sites for about nine quid. Um, but the difference between the build quality and this one I've got is second to none. This one cost me 30 pounds. And um, as I say, the build quality between the two is, is completely different. Um, I have seen some other reviewers doing these little videos on these Storm Lanterns. And the ones they get from, from Amazon that are coming directly from China, the cheaper ones, uh, there, are, there are quite a few problems with them, but this is the slightly better build quality. So, <clears throat> the reason is, why am I doing a review on this, on this Storm Lantern? The simple reason is there's been a little tiny bit of chatter. Now, I'm not a prepper, I'm not a, a conspiracy theorist, I'm, I'm, I'm none of those things. I'm a practicalist, okay? Lots of people on the media are saying, you need to be prepared. Okay, I understand, I'm, I'm not a dummy, I see what's going around, and yeah, although I'm not stockpiling, you know, cans of tins and all this sort of stuff and having all, you know, 55,000 gallons of, of purified water knocking around the place, I don't have any of that. I just thought to myself, do you know what, if the old lights do go out for a little bit, I wanna be able to at least see where I'm going. Now I've got, I've got an abundance of, you know, this sort of stuff, that's brilliant. Um, and I've got loads of spare batteries, which, which generally are on charge for quite a while, but I don't have any means of charging said battery units um, once they go flat. So I've probably got enough for about, I don't know, constant use, uh, probably about a week with my flashlights, candles, bits and pieces. But I thought to myself, why not pick myself up one of these um, uh, little lanterns here, these storm lanterns, or they're called hurricane lanterns, um, because once you fill this up with, with a liquid, these can last for up to 18 to 20 hours solid burn time. And yes, you can use them indoors as long as the house or the, the room or the tent or wherever it is you're, you're staying has a reasonably good ventilation. Now, bear in mind, these sort of lanterns we used very, very similar back in 1800 and freezing to death as, as wall mounted lights as well. So although they're not brilliant uh, for your health, but you just have to make sure it's well ventilated. It's, just, it's the same with anything, right? So. A quick little review today on this um, Fleur Hand um, Baby Special 276. Dietz do a bigger one. If you look on the American websites, you can get them in the UK too. They do a Dietz Jupiter, which is twice the size of this. It's huge, uh, but you wouldn't really want to carry it about too much. It's more, it's more, for, more for, for, for bigger lighting. But this little tiny device here, if used correctly, could just provide you with a little tiny bit of light for when and if the lights do go out this could be a little bit of a lifesaver. It could just light the way and give you a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. I'll be showing in this video how to light it, how to maintain it, how to look after it, all that sort of stuff. So it's an all in one video, uh, rather than doing two or three little videos all on the set bit, bit of kit. I have also purchased some premium grade um, paraffin, which is quite cheap. Um, I bought two bottles of that. That was about, I don't know, 14 quid. And if you can, if you can burn that for 18 to 20 hours on about 300 mil of juice, I've got enough air for about four months, so so that's good enough. Is that prepping? I don't think it is. It's just I'm gonna just show you how to do this in the video, put it in the in, in the cupboard out of the way, and forget about it. That's what I'm gonna do. Now I have also bought a Tiddy Lantern as well, um, which is the, the, the older style. I've got it here. I'll do a separate video on that as well. How to change a mantle, that sort of stuff. Now I I in my in my younger days, um, I was in the Boy Scouts. I was in the Cubs. I've done my Duke of Edinburgh. I've done all that sort of stuff. So I've got quite a good practical survival element. I've been camping, I've done most of it, all that sort of stuff, you know, bivouacking, all that, I've done it all. So my experience out in the field is actually pretty good and I believe I could survive if I really, really had to. But the, the long and short of it is, I have a family, um, one child with additional needs and a, a mother-in-law here, so I wouldn't go there anyway. I, I, I'd be staying put rather than going out in, into the woods and all that sort of stuff if I had to. But that's the choice that I'd have to make, and the choice you might have to make too, but I know that certain people, like in <coughs> NATO, and uh, the, uh, the UK government are saying, you need to be ready, people. You need to be ready. So is that just scaremongering? Put it in the comment section, is it scaremongering? But be sensible with your comments. Don't just say, oh, it's all, 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 all crap. Be sensible, is it scaremongering, or 
Is it true that the, the average household only has about three days worth of food? Because pff, I think if we looked at it sensibly, we might have a bit more than that, but um, most households who are on the breadline possibly don't. Anyway, I'm yakking. Let's get down dirty. Check out this fur hand, a fleur hand. If I'm if I'm mutilating that word, please correct me. Um, baby special um, two seven six storm lantern, um, and uh, I'll show you how to light it, how to maintain it, and we'll go from there. If this is your first time I'm watching Mixed Mother Man, man, hit your subscribe button and whack the old bell. Set notifications to all. That way you'll be told next time I upload a video. But further ado, let's get down dirty. Let's get this little puppy lit. Right, so here's a little lantern. Let's uh, let's get it unboxed. Now it came as is, right? Um, as I, said, I got off of Amazon, I will try and leave a link in the description if I can. Nothing in the box other than I've got a box of matches which came with the, uh, the old ignition source. In the photograph on Amazon with this company here, uh, they, they showed a picture of some matches and the box was really, really big, really big. And, that, and, and that's the size box that come with it. But either, neither here nor there, that's what it is, that's what you've got. So in here, it comes a little tiny carry bag, which is paper, which is about as much use as a chocolate fire guard. Although it could be good for starting fires. So, um, so that's good. Um, we've got a little tiny tab on here, uh, just your, your, your identification, what it says. It just says uh, made in Germany and, and, that, and that's, a, that's about your limit. So that's what you got there. I'll just get rid of that now. Which will probably take me about three hours. I don't really want that on top of there the, once we've got it lit. Now, as I say, I, I am not any way, shape or form, one of them prepper guys. That's not, that's not me, but I am a practicalist and you can't, it's a bit like me working nights on a railway, right? If it's lashing down the rain and you ain't got no waterproofs, you can't put waterproofs on. If, if you've got waterproofs with you, you can put them on, right? So that, that's me, practicalist. Got it here. It ain't eating nothing. I ain't got to feed it. Just put it in the cupboard, forget about it, okay? If the lights go out, 20 hours burn time. So, <clears throat> Very simple little little device. Um, as I say, made in the 1800s. There's your chimney stack there, and you can literally just lift your chimney up, push your glass over, okay, go around the back, and you can take your glass out, and, and that, that is how you can clean your glass, right? You do it when it's cold, obviously. You can also, repla you also get um, replacement glasses too. Your wick is in here, little tiny, this, um, this little tiny baby one takes a half inch square wick, okay? And you just adjust your wick by twisting this little tiny handle here. How easy is that? Um, you can buy the wicks as well. I've seen some good deals on, on Amazon. I think I bought three rolls of about three, three or four feet or three or four meters each for about eight quid. So enough there to last me a lifetime. Let's just say your wick has fallen out, right? Or you burnt all the way through and, uh, and, and there's nothing there now, it's gone, right? So, so you've had it. So how do you change your wick? It's very simple. I mean, the initial twist is quite hard, but once you've done it once, it's not too bad. Just just twist that over, lift that up, right? And, there, and there's your wick just there, okay? So that's all it is. So all you've got to do <coughs> to, to feed your wick in, you can go, you can go both sides. It, it doesn't make a lot of difference. There's a little tiny wheel inside here, which just literally just bites, bite, bites your wick. So what I want to do is I just want to cut with a pair of scissors. Um, because I've done a bit of research on it, like you do. And the idea is you, you, your square wick, okay, you can either have it completely cut, completely flat, right? So you, you don't want these little knobbly bits showing, or you can just trim the edges at angles, okay, to make it more of a pointed flame, or you can make it more rounded. But, you know, so many people have different tips of what they can and can't do, but ideally, you don't want none of this frame business. So all I'm gonna do is just gonna cut straight across there, nice and tidy. A pair of sharper scissors might have actually been a, been a decent thing, but I'm, what I might use, actually I might just use my, uh, my Nipex snips, that might be a really good idea. So let's go across here with my Nipex snips, see if, see if they cut it. Yeah, it does. That's beautiful. So Nipex snippers are brilliant. So we can cut the edges, okay, as well, to make it more of a pointed flame if you wanted to. That's called a box, that's called a box fill, a box um, wick there. Just feed that in. Now you can feed it through either side. It don't make a lot of difference, right? But all you've got to do, as you feed it, in, you've then got to twist it at the same time so it grabs it. Once it's grabbed it, it'll come on up. There you go. So as you can see, my, my wick is slightly, slightly off, off screw width. So just gonna tidy that up. A bit of a stuff in there. Right, just gonna tidy them up just by just evening it out a touch. Let's make it a bit more even, Stevens. That's it, that's lush. And you can buy these, I think you can buy these. Um, the tank is very, very small. You just put that back inside the tank. 
twist it all the way round, and there's some little tiny um, catches just here and on the other side. Just, just feed it all the way that way, then turn it anti-clockwise, just so it grips it in like that, and that's as far as it goes. Once you're ready to put your your glass back in, once it's been cleaned, because it do soot up a little bit if the flame's too high, put it back in, lift your chimney, hold the chimney up, tip the glass back in, like so, and Bob's your aunt or Sally's your aunt. Now, to fill it, very simple, just undo your little tiny uh, cap, which has got the emblem on there. So these, these don't hold next to no fluid at all. Little tiny cork washer on there, stop it leaking, but it is recommended if you're gonna transport these things, then um, transport it without the liquid in, and when you get to your site or whatever it is you're doing, then put your, um, your, your fluid in after that, okay? Let me just grab a quick funnel. That'll do for my funnel, got one here. Um, they don't come with funnels, it would've been nice to see a, a little tiny funnel in there, but they, don't, but they don't come with them. So all you want now is a little tiny funnel, put that in there like that, and then just fill that up. Now when I say fill it up, just, they recommend not to overfill it, about 80%, and I'd fill it up to around about the bottom of this crease line just here. That's, that's roughly where I would fill it, fill it up, okay? Um, as I say, these are not designed to be tipped over because um, they, they will leak because there's another stop coming out, coming out at the wick end, but um, they're designed to be just sat upright, okay? Now these don't provide a fantastic amount of, um, of light. It's not like a, like, like a candle, uh, like an like a LED torch, right? This is more <coughs> of a lantern. Some say they're for decorative purposes only, but I don't think in the 1800s, they had much need for decoration purposes. Now, I'm gonna put a bit in. I'm not gonna go mad, it, it, it don't, it don't, so I've overfilled mine. It don't, it don't hold a lot. Literally, it, they, they take next to nothing, okay? So let me just take my funnel out. Actually quite good, actually. I think, I think that's nearly there, to be fair. Let's have a look. Yeah, but that's just right at the bottom, right at the bottom of the, uh, of the thread. So that, that's perfect for me. So I'm just gonna put my cap on. So that took next to nothing, all right? So I've got months and months and months of lighting should I need it. Now these are great just for barbecues, all that sort of stuff as well, so that's good. So I'm gonna get my little tiny cloth here. I'm just gonna mop that up. Now, the good thing about this this, um, this uh, paraffin is it's not highly, highly flammable like petrol, okay? It's not like that. Although it will go up, it's, it's, not, it's not like petrol, all right? So, Clean that off, get rid of any excess. Now all the time we're waiting, we're just waiting for that wick inside the, uh, inside the tank just to, um, just to, just to absorb some of, some of that liquid, okay? Now you have to wait around about 15 minutes, but you can speed the process up simply by just turning your wick all the way down until you can just about see it, leave it there. That drops the wick into the, um, into the tank, give it a little tiny swirl backwards and forwards, okay, and then raise it back up again, and then your wick should be good to go. So my, my wick has now changed colour, it was white, it's now um, a brownie colour, right, so, that, so that's good. But you want to leave that for around about three or four, about five minutes, give or take, let that wick fully um, absorb, and I'll come back to you once it's done that. Okay, so I have to tip the glass up on its side again, just for just for purpose of, of exercise. Now, th this wick has now been left for five minutes, and as you can see, we, we've already got some kind of fluid on there already, so that's good. So we know the wick is now primed. Now, quick tip. Um, if you have your wick too high on initial fire up um, or during use, then what will happen is you, your glass will soot up because obviously this is a chemical we're putting in here and uh, it soot up and it smoke out the top of the chimney. Okay, so ideally what you want, you want, your, you want your wick as low as possible just to begin with, okay? So I'm gonna tip the glass back. Let me just put that chimney, chimney back over. Right, now with that in, in, the, in the started position, you can now get this little handle just here, bring that down, there's a little tiny cutout just here. Just bring your handle down and lock it off into position. Okay, and now you can see just inside there, there is your wick, okay? And you can even lower that down just a touch more, just so it is just literally just peeking out of there. You see that, okay? Once that's there, 
You can get your match or your lighter, whatever you got. And then you can just light, light your wick. Now, good thing, because it's not like petrol, it won't go woof on you. It just light it, there it goes, that's lit. I can now turn it down a touch more, and then just slowly release the handle over top, and there's your lantern. Okay, so now, once that's all in place, um, but that will fog a little bit initially because it is quite cold in here, but, but it will clear. You can now just adjust this lantern to what you want. Now, if you go too high, the light will start to flicker, and then you'll start to get some kind of vapour coming out of the top of the chimney, okay? So let me just demonstrate that now. There you go, it's starting to smoke now, you can see that, okay? So that's way too high, and your glass was soot up. So that would be roughly about, about where you'd want it. About a good medium sort of flame, no, no, um, no sort of um, soot coming out the top. Now, I, in here somewhere, I do also have a little tiny infrared gun. Uh, which might give me my, some temperature. So uh, the, the, the bottom of the actual tank is reading at the moment, uh, let's have a look here, uh, 12 degrees. Okay, it's currently reading 12 degrees. And at the top, um, let me just bring you back to touch so you guys can see. At the top here, uh, let's put that on there. We're reading 38, 40s, 50s. I'm trying to get right inside, back down here. Uh, 74, 72, so, so, so we're getting quite, a, it is actually throwing out quite a bit of heat as well. Um, so ideally you don't want to be holding it by, by this little tiny bit here, there is actually a carry handle for it, okay? But there is your storm lantern, you can blow on it, do what you like, it, it won't go out. <sighs> because it's, it's designed to be in, a, be, in a, be in some kind of hurricane force situation. So a simple little tiny lantern, which will look really, really nice if you're doing your, if you're just doing your, your, your sort of, um, barbecues and what have you, sat across a table, it looks lovely, right? But this is more designed really for camping, uh, just to give a bit of light in it, when the situation needs it, that the, the lights just may go out, okay? Now I've got loads of lights in here, uh, in my shed, I'm just gonna turn them off. The lighting is not brilliant in here once, um, once, um, that's my main lights off. I've still got two studio lights on here as well, let me turn them off. But if you were sat in a, in a darkened room, that's another light off. And there's my third light off, all my studio lights. There you go, I'll turn that one off to there. So there you go. So already you can see that, that, that that's actually throwing out quite a nice little bit of light, okay? Take it away, bring it back. It throws out quite a nice bit of light. I have windows behind me, so it's not getting the true reflection of the actual uh, light it throws out, but it is throwing out a little bit of heat as well, which is great if you're camping and stuff like that, because you may it may provide a little tiny bit of heat source. Now, some of the Dietz ones do actually come with, and other brands actually come with like a little tiny hot plate on the top. We actually put a little tiny jug on there, and you can, and you can warm. It doesn't boil, but you can actually warm, uh, warm you know, a, a cup of coffee or something like that up as well. So they do actually do that method as well. But what what a cracking little thing, just for either out in the bushes, bit of camping and what have you, a nice little lamp that you can carry around with you, or out in the garden doing barbecue and what have you, or if the lights do ever go out, you've got about 20 hours of fluid in that tank now, and I've still got ample amount of stuff to, um, to light it for, for going forward. So you can turn the light right down, all the way down to next to nothing, and that, and that will burn next to nothing as well, but it, it, is, it is still lit, okay? So it will still, will still provide a little, bit of light, a little bit of light for you, but just simply just turn it back up again, just about there. You want so the light just doesn't flicker. That's what, that's what you're after, a nice steady little light. About there, that's perfect, okay? Any higher than that, it gets as good as out of control and will start to soot up. So just have it nice and steady. A lovely little lamp that is. Let's just check the temperature one more time. 74. 72s, 74s, 100 degrees, 102, 105, 106, 113 degrees that's pumping out now. So that's quite, that's quite warm, to be fair. You, you wouldn't want to touch that now. So a nice little lantern there for you. A quick little review on what you should do if your lights ever go out. You've got a very nice looking um, um, hurricane lantern there. For around about 30 quid, you can buy um, the lantern and then you can just buy, buy, your, buy your ignition fuel on top. They run on kerosene, they run on uh, propane, all that, all, that sort, all that sort of paraffin, all that sort of stuff. 
Don't put petrol in there, not recommended. You want something a bit less, a bit less flammable. There you go, quick little video. Let me know what you think. Is that, is that worth buying? As long as you've got proper ventilation, um, that shouldn't be a problem at all. So let me know in the comment section what you think. So there you go, quick little review on the Fleurhand Super 276 Storm Lantern, which is very, very similar to the Dietz version. It's, it's, it's the same design. The design has changed over the years, but uh, what a cracking little lantern for, as I say, for barbecues and for, um, you know, if the light should go out, you've got a little tiny lantern there, which provides a little tiny bit of heat as well. It's fully adjustable. Everything, what is there not to like about this, about this little tiny lantern? Absolutely brilliant, so. I like it. I've got another video coming out soon on this little cookie, uh, which I have also purchased. This will be my, this will be my last purchase uh, for lighting. Um, as I say, I'm not a um, I'm not a prepper. I am literally just a practicalist. Picked up this off of eBay. It was about twenty quid. Uh, I think it all worked. I don't really know. It was sold as um, sold as working. Um, but it was a little bit of a clean up and uh, this is your same sort of thing, paraffin lantern, but with a mantle inside as well. And this gives off so much more light. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting that up and working. I have also bought for that. It did come with uh, a spare mantle, but I actually picked up, I found some genuine um, tiddy ones, a pack of four, very like four quid. And they, and they last years and years, as long as you look after them. I've also purchased a nice little um, uh, uh, tilly um, pack for uh, servicing it as well. So in case your pump pump gets or what have you, I can repair it as well. So yeah, that's all good. So there you go. I suppose it's going back to the old motto uh, of the Boy Scouts: be prepared. Um, that's that's always been part of part of the, especially the UK motto is is to be prepared. And you you can't have it if you ain't got it. Um, so if you have got it, then you can use it. That's how I think anyway. Let me know in the comment section what you think. I don't want to get into the politics of it and all the rest of it, but just let me know what you think. Are you set up if the lights go out? If they go out, what are you going to do? They may not go out, guys, but just in case, I've got it here just in case they do. You ain't got to feed it. You ain't got to look after it. Just put it in the cupboard and forget about it. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Mixed Miles and Man. I hope you enjoyed the little video. If you did, give us a big old thumbs up. It helps towards the algorithm of my channel. And I look forward to seeing this episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon. But in two and guys and girls, girls and guys, much more importantly, take her easy.